बिग इंडिया टुडे न्यूज ब्रेक ऑन द बैक ऑफ द मेजर फ्लैश पॉइंट बिफोर द करंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड हिज प्रीडिसेसर मनमोहन सिंह दिस इज एन एक्सक्लूसिव इंडिया टुडे न्यूज ब्रेक फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मनमोहन सिंह हैज नाउ लैश्ड आउट ऑन कैमरा एट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी मनमोहन सिंह बिग अटैक ऑन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी कमिंग ऑन द बैक ऑफ द एलिगेशन ऑफ अ पाकिस्तानी कॉन्क्लेव लेट्स लिसन इन टू मनमोहन सिंह to spread to score political i am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread i am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else then prime minister shri narendra modi fearing imminent defeat in gujarat desperation of prime minister to hurl every abuse and latch on to every straw is palpable sadly and regrettably shri modi is setting a dangerous precedent by his insatiable desire to tarnish every constitutional office including that of a former prime minister and all i am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else i am deeply pained and i am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else than prime minister shri narendra modi fearing imminent defeat in gujarat desperation of prime minister to hurl every abuse and latch on to every straw is palpable sadly and regrettably shri modi is setting a dangerous precedent by his insatiable desire to tarnish every constitutional office including that of a former prime minister and army chief the congress party needs no sermons on nationalism from a party and prime minister whose compromised attack track record on fighting terrorism is well known let me remind shri narendra modi that he had gone to pakistan uninvited after the terrorist attacks in udampur and gurdaspur let him also tell the country the reason for inviting the in favors ISI of Pakistan to our strategic air base in Pathan Court to investigate a terror attack that emanated from Pakistan my track record of public service to the country well on camera for the first time as part of what has become one of the most prominent flash points in the ferocious Gujarat campaign it doesn't get bigger than this current prime minister versus former prime minister well a couple of days after manmohan singh gave out a written statement for the first time on camera and first on india today manmohan singh's detailed reply to the current prime minister of the country narendra modi it is laced with aggressive allegations of tarnishing constitutional office and making preposterous allegations against the office of a former prime minister here's manmohan singh exclusive on india today to spread to score political i am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread i am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else than prime minister shri narendra modi 
fearing imminent defeat in Gujarat, desperation of Prime Minister to hurl every abuse and latch on to every straw is palpable. Sadly and regrettably, Shri Modi is setting a dangerous precedent by his insatiable desire to tarnish every constitutional office, including that of a former prime minister and all. I am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else. I am deeply pained and I am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else than Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. Fearing imminent defeat in Gujarat, desperation of Prime Minister to hurl every abuse and latch on to every straw is palpable. Sadly and regrettably, Shri Modi is setting a dangerous precedent by his insatiable desire to tarnish every constitutional office, including that of a former prime minister and army chief. The Congress party needs no sermons on nationalism from a party and prime minister whose compromised attack track record on fighting terrorism is well known. Let me remind Shri Narendra Modi that he had gone to Pakistan uninvited after the terrorist attacks in Udhampur and Gurdaspur. Let him also tell the country the reason for inviting the infamous ISI of Pakistan to our strategic air base in Pathan Court to investigate a terror attack that emanated from Pakistan. My track record of public service to the country. That video is only on India Today and nowhere else. The first on-camera rebuttal by former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to Narendra Modi, the current Prime Minister, and his ferocious allegations of connivance with Pakistan, a secret meeting behind closed doors during the Gujarat election. Manmohan Singh, a man of few words, putting out a detailed on-camera statement and that story and that video breaking only here on India Today and on no other channel. Joining me live, Managing Editor Rahul Kapal, National Affairs Editor Rahul Srivastava and Supriya Bharadwaj, our correspondent who covers political parties focusing on the Congress at this time. Rahul, big scoop, Manmohan Singh on camera. You don't usually see him on camera. He put out a detailed statement a couple of days ago. Now he is here on camera providing that full rebuttal on camera to Narendra Modi. And look, Shiv, at what former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh is saying. He says you are levelling wild charges against us, but see what you did in full public view. Hmm. Land up unannounced in Lahore, uh, invite the ISI to a strategic air base in Pathan Court. Now, both of these are absolutely true, and in hindsight, you really wonder whether Prime Minister Narendra Modi going to Lahore was a wise move, whether calling the ISI to Pathan Court was a wise move. So essentially, the strongest and possibly most effective attack against Prime Minister Narendra Modi coming from his predecessor, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Uh, this is essentially the Congress trying to use the last day before Gujarat campaign, before Gujarat goes to the second phase of polls to hit a couple of punches. You saw Rahul Gandhi do a couple of interviews with regional Gujarati media. 
just hours ahead of the second phase of polling. Now this video being put out by the media cell of the Congress party in an attempt to try and take the attack to the opposition. What's happening, Shiv, really, is the Congress now making a ragged attempt to try and swing the narrative back in their favor. Yes. Because of Mani Shankar Ayya, Kapil Sibal, they felt that right at the end of the campaign, their momentum was kind of falling and the BJP was picking up some momentum. Through this, they're trying on TV, on social media, to win that momentum back. I think hours before Gujarat goes to polls, both sides, the Prime Minister with that big Fiki address in the state of the economy, former, Manmo, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh with his very scathing attack on the Prime Minister, trying to win the momentum for their party. Shiv. Agenda setting video, Manmohan Singh speaking out for the first time on camera on the Gujarat election. Uh, pulling no punches, mincing no words, a full frontal attack on what he calls the tarnishing of a constitutional office. He's also gone on the offensive. Rahul Srivastava, National Affairs Editor, also with us. Rahul, early minutes yet since this big news break here in India today. Has the BJP reacted just yet? What are your sources telling you? Because like I keep saying, Manmohan Singh, you know, always seen as a mild-mannered man of few words, doesn't, you know, not really confrontational. But here he is, mincing no words whatsoever, Rahul. Sure, what uh, we can say is that uh, nearly a month ago in Gujarat elections, there were several uh, issues in play. The caste factor, the OBCs, the Dalits, the, uh, the uh, Patels, the Patidars, and also GST, demonetization. There were a lot of issues. But over the last 15 days, if you notice, the manner in which Prime Minister Narendra Modi has campaigned and the kind of issues that he has raised, he has virtually changed the narrative. He has made it a battle between him and the rest. And the last one in that was using that meeting at Mr. Manishaka's house hmm. in which Pakistanis, ex-diplomats, ex-generals and some uh, leaders like Dr. Manmohan Singh and others were present. He used, to build, uh, used it to build a narrative in Gujarat that so desperate is the Congress to dethrone the BJP in Gujarat that it is even taking Pakistani assistance. Now, if you look at it, the, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh's statement is what he has read out is the same that he had released it earlier. But the Congress realizes that what Prime Minister Narendra Modi was doing, and that is why there is yet another last minute attempt, as Rahul was saying. What the Congress is trying to do is dislodge the kind of narrative Narendra Modi might have tried to successfully build over this meeting. Uh, uh, and that is why uh, a strong worded statement read out to television yes. without questions and answers. See, what we can also say is that what an election it's turning out to be, that the campaign technically ended yesterday. But I think till the last vote is cast tomorrow evening, I think there will be some kind of campaigning. Prime Minister Modi speaking at a Fiki function has uh, countered the jibes from the Congress and Rahul Gandhi that lakhs of crores were given to the industrialists, uh, Tata's uh, nano plant was benefited. He has said today at the Fiki function that in the time of the UPA, banks were giving loans blindly under pressure mm. and bodies like Fiki were silent. Uh, on the other hand, Rahul Gandhi giving interviews. What we can say is that so uh, desperate is the attempt by the two political forces right now that they do not want to... Uh, give away any opportunity to counter the narrative and that's where I one can say that the development issue which had started as the first main plank for yes. campaign in Gujarat is over it's a bitter battle down till the last minute it's 24 hours to go for you know final voting Rahul uh, Supriya I'm coming to you in a moment Rahul how much of a blowback is this going to cause I mean we saw a written statement now you've got this full detailed video rebuttal and statement from Manmohan Singh how much of a blowback Rahul you know, Shiv, I want to mention uh, about what uh, Rahul Srivastava was saying that officially campaigning came to an end. I don't think it did because if you see, the Prime Minister will be on board a submarine tomorrow morning which yeah. will be dedicated to the nation. Now, he's the Prime Minister, of course he can do that, but that timing is very smartly selected. Just as Gujarat goes to polls, just as cities like Ahmedabad, North Gujarat, Central Gujarat goes to polls, the Prime Minister will be showing off his macho self. He did that, you know, that seaplane landing on yes. the Sabarmati with the Prime Minister holding out. Uh, it was quite dramatic. <laughs> A lot of people, I likened this with James Bond. So the BJP did what it could right till the very end to dominate mind space. You know, the BJP now accusing the uh, accusing the Congress of violating election commission norms because Rahul gave this interview today. That's a bit rich, Shiv, because if you remember, 
the BJP came up with its manifesto, its so-called vision statement, after the first phase campaigning had gotten over one day before polls. Yeah. So ninth was when the first phase of polling happened. Eighth is when the BJP came out with this vision statement. Cut back to nine, 2014, uh, hours before the the polling was happening. Then Chief Minister Narendra Modi gave interviews to TV channels in exactly the same circumstances. So now, of course, you've got the BJP rushing to the Chief Electoral Officer in Gujarat complaining, but they've done this in the past. The fact is, with social media, with the way the world is changing, with 24-7 TV, that 48-hour deadline is frankly meaningless. One way or the other, both parties trying to find ways of staying right on top of the minds of the voters. The EC can question this, yeah. but it's happened in the past and therefore even now the EC hasn't banned news channels from running that Rahul Gandhi interview because yes, yes. there are so many past precedents, Shiv. Absolutely, the Rahul Gandhi interview and now Manmohan Singh exclusively on India today. We have a first reaction from the BJP. National spokesperson GVL Narasimha Rao is with us. Mr. Rao, your reactions to this detailed televised statement by the former Prime Minister, very serious allegations, very serious charge. He's thrown the ball back into the BJP's court. Your reaction? No, I, I think this is nothing but the verbosity at its, uh, at its best. What is he saying? Pro Dr. Manmohan Singh has not answered the key questions. He's only going on a rhetorical flourish. In his statement, he made completely, he did not answer any of the questions that we had raised. And uh, I'm sure I've not heard his statement, okay. but I think that it'll, it'll again be rich on, uh, on language and very poor on, on content. I think the key questions that have not been answered, first of all, why did it take Congress party 48 hours to even accept beating had taken place? Why did Mohan Singh not, not accept it earlier? Number two, why did the Congress li leaders lie that this meeting did not happen 24 hours after we revealed uh, 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 the, the, uh, the, that a meeting had taken place? Number three, at a time when Hafiz Sayyid had been released by Pakistan, mm. it is, is it not incumbent upon a former prime minister to check with the government of India, to know its official position, to in, in, inform and to possible to representative in your meeting okay. of former minister of affairs from Pakistan who is an emissary of Parvez Musharraf and Parvez Musharraf is the force behind Hafiz Saeed today so he has Rahul Gandhi sent Dr. Manmohan Singh to, to, to give a sense of assurance to Parvez Musharraf and Hafiz Saeed okay. that okay. India okay we are happy that he has been released India will not do anything. Okay, so you're we saying will. that, okay, the BJP basically, thank very much, GVL Narasimha Rao for speaking to us. The BJP basically countering Manmohan Singh, saying he can say all these big words, he can attack us all he wants, but he hasn't answered the substantive issue of what that meeting was about. GVL Narasimha Rao actually adding more to that allegation, first put out by Narendra Modi in that rally speech and basically saying that, is Rahul Gandhi sending Manmohan Singh to these meetings as an assurance to Parvez Musharraf, who right now is a lackey of terror mastermind Hafiz Mohammed Saeed. I want to bring in India Today's uh, Supriya Bharadwaj, who covers the Congress for us, who's been breaking all the big Congress stories right through this Gujarat election campaign and the elevation of Rahul Gandhi. The Congress basically going all out, Supriya, and, you know, using Manmohan Singh, who was the unlikely target of an attack, to actually attack the BJP back in full measure. What are you hearing from within the Congress of what they hope to achieve with this? Well, Shiv, welcome to uh, 2.0 Raga Congress. Well, this is what the Congress party is saying. They have donned a very aggressive uh, look ever since yeah. uh, Rahul Gandhi has been declared as the president-elect. The information that spread that Rahul Gandhi will be the president. We have seen Rahul Gandhi leading a very aggressive campaign in Gujarat and they are fighting to the nail. If Prime Minister will be there at that event, Rahul Gandhi is heading to Kerala and Tamil Nadu, meeting the cyclone hit people. And obviously, a day-long uh, you know, events have been scheduled where he will be also raising the issues related to Gujarat. As far as Dr. Manmohan Singh is concerned, it is unprecedented. I have covered UP too also. It is yes. unprecedented the way Dr. Manmohan Singh has hit back. The way you said a mild-mannered man is going all out and showing his aggressive side. Today in the morning only he had met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the parliament but now he is coming out right. with the statement. And what other Congress sources are saying that uh, we are going to find the, uh, fight the allegations to the nail and this is how Dr. Manmohan Singh is 
replying to Prime Minister Do uh, Narendra Modi. Like you put it, Supriya, Raga Congress 2.0. This is the first shot under that new stewardship. Let's listen to it once again. Exclusive once again. I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, scooped by India Today's award-winning reporting team, Manmohan Singh, on camera with this detailed reply to the BJP. I am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else than Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. Fearing imminent defeat in Gujarat, desperation of Prime Minister to hurl every abuse and latch on to every straw is palpable. Sadly and regrettably, Shri Modi is setting a dangerous precedent by his insatiable desire to tarnish every constitutional office, including that of a former prime minister and army chief. The Congress party needs no sermons on nationalism from a party and prime minister whose compromised attack track record on fighting terrorism is well known. Let me remind Shri Narendra Modi that he had gone to Pakistan uninvited after the terrorist attacks in Udhampur and Gurdaspur. Let him also tell the country the reason for inviting the infamous ISI of Pakistan to our strategic air base in Pathan Court to investigate a terror attack that emanated from Pakistan. My we'll keep a track of that story, the big fallout from the BJP. But coming up after this very short break right here on 5 Live, a story that only India today is tracking. A shocking crime in Karnataka that has... Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.